Hello everyone, my name is TheRetroDen and welcome to a new video on the channel. Today, with the release of Elden Ring, I'm going to show you some beginner tips and info you can use on your playthrough of the Elden Ring. Let's get right into the video. Just to start things off, if you guys like Elden Ring and other games, in this channel we do every type of gaming content, so if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to comment, subscribe and leave a like, it helps a lot. But let's get right into the tips. So, if you're a long time Souls fan, you will remember that the game has checkpoints, and in the previous Dark Souls games, the checkpoints were in form of bonfires, which you lit up, and you got to attune spells in them, uh, refill your Estus flask, and in this game, there's a similar system as all From Software games, but instead of bonfires, you have Sites of Grace. So, Sites of Grace work exactly like bonfires. You can rest at them, and inside them you will see, you will have various menus, you can do a lot of things. So, with flasks, you can add charges to your flask with golden seeds and you can increase the amount replenished by flasks with ashes and you can also allocate flask charges if you want them to recharge your magic or your hp a new thing in this game you can also do in the souls of grace is the ashes of war which attune a style uh, like weapon arts in the previous dark souls games to your weapon as you can see i'm using the claymore and i could attune the Ash of War Wild Strikes and the Stormstone Ash of War to this weapon. In the Sights of Grace, you can also pass time and choose if you want to play in the morning, noon or nightfall. Another important thing the Sights of Grace can do and are useful for is when you open the map, you can see there's this kind of arrow pointing to where you have to go. So there are main objectives in the game, of course, and if you want to know where you need to go and you're kind of lost, all you have to do is open up your map and see where the arrows point to and that's where you have to go. Another thing, there's a lot of stuff that you might miss because it's a huge world, so if you want to backtrack, just press one of them and you can fast travel. Which is a neat thing, since it's a huge map and you will probably go back and forth a lot of times. For the next tip, I'm going to show you some things that will also be very useful in your journey, which are upgrading your weapons and buying and selling items. When you start the game, you'll be in a cave and then you'll reach the open area. You start the open area and then you can see a church right in front of you. You start there in that building and you just go ahead and reach this church. This church has two major important things. This cellar right here, which you can buy items from and sell items from, and this forge right here, which you can use to upgrade your weapons. And how does it work? You use runes which are the souls in this game it's the currency you will use for everything and smithing stones if you want to upgrade your weapon you go here strengthen your armament and then you as you can see for this weapon the claymore to get it plus three i need 742 runes and six smithing stones which i currently don't have but i will farm for as for the seller he has a really important thing you should buy right in the beginning of the game. It's really cheap, it's 300 runes and get it as soon as you can. And that item is the crafting kit. In this game, different to other Souls games, there's crafting, similar to some survival games. And as you can see right here in the menu, when you press start, you have the crafting menu. And inside it, there's a lot of items you can craft from bombs to things to show you if you are going in the correct path throwing weapons and even things to heal your horse. So don't forget, once you start the game, come here, get 300 souls just by killing some soldiers around or killing some stuff and buy the crafting kit from this guy and use it along your journey. For the next tip, I'm talking about the map. Chances are, when you start the game, you open your map, you press select and all of this is black besides the Sites of Grace. And what happens is you need to discover the map in the map or in the world. So. These stones right here are usually where the map is, so if you see one of these, there will be an item in front which you can pick it up, and that will uncover the map for the area. As you can see, I have already uncovered two parts of the map, and that's how you go about unlocking your map. Amidst all this, some people might also have some trouble discovering how to level up, which is something that should be simple, but in this game it's also kind of hidden, I took some time to discover it, but it's really easy. Right here in the map, after you come from the Church of Ele, you come here on the east of Gatefront Ruins and there will be this Site of Grace. When you rest at it, a cutscene will pop up and you will talk to this girl called Melina and she will become your maiden. And then, once you talk to her, she will be able to level you up just like you do in other Souls games with other maidens. 
Along with leveling up, she also gives you this ring that lets you use your horse whenever you want. To use your horse, you just have to go to your equipment, go down here to the, to the usables and equip the Spectral Steed Whistle. Then you just use your down arrow and use your square button and go around in your horse. Since we're talking about the horse, the horse is really important actually in this game because most of the times you will find yourself in a tough spot and you need to get out of it or maybe be more agile while fighting. One example is the Stormgate, which is one of the first times you will be actually you will be actually influenced to use your horse when this guy comes down. So that's it for the tip. Try to use your horse more in combat because it favors you a lot. You're more mobile and you, you can easily dodge attacks instead of using precise rolls. And these are some things I think that can be useful for you if you're starting out in Elden Ring and never play the Souls game. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed. We're gonna have, for sure, more Elden Ring content, more Lost Ark content as well, because I still have some videos planned for that. If you enjoyed this, feel free to leave a comment. I will answer to your comment. Leave a like to boost me in the algorithm. Subscribe if you want to see everything I have in this channel. And other than that, this has been the Retro Den, and I'm out.